Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for joining me this week. So this week I'm going to be looking at a deep research AI tool called Manus and what kind of reports and literature review and research information it can generate for us. So if you're interested in finding more about Manus, then please keep on watching. Okay, so I was really fortunate to get access to uh, Manus a few months ago as it was invite only and we had to apply. But then I heard a couple of weeks ago, Manus was released to the general public. And what I love about Manus is that there is a free version that we can ex use to explore to see whether we want to go for the subscribed version. So if we go on to perplexity first, I'll just explain what Manus is. So Manus is best for automating tasks, enhancing productivity, streamlining decision making, executing multi-step tasks without continuous input, acting like an internal analyst, completing workflows with minimal guidance. So this is from perplexity. Um, it's an AI agent basically with a high degree of autonomy and intelligence that can think independently and handle complex tasks. And it's basically designed to bridge the gap between human thoughts and actions, autonomously executing tasks across multiple domains. So let's give it a little try. So I wanted to, let me just move myself over here. I wanted to look at the research of inquiry-based learning and generate a literature review. And I wanted quite a comprehensive prompt. So what I did was I went on to Claude 3.7 Sonnet to ask for a prompt that would generate a great a research paper with a literature review. Now, I want to stress this is not for publishing. This is for my own research. Uh, I want to look at the papers and the links that it gives me. I'm just going to copy and paste that here. And I want to show you what that pasted text looks like. So here, generate a comprehensive literature review and report on query based learning in mathematics. The report should include, and this is what Claude Three Point Sonnet suggested. I wanted an executive summary introduction, historical context, theoretical framework, research methodology, literature analysis, implementation considerations, challenges and limitations, case studies, critical analysis, practical applications, future directions, conclusion and references. Okay, so that's actually my prompt. Okay, I'm going to move myself over here. And I know that this is probably going to take 10 to 15 minutes, but let's just press send. And here, we'll just look at the first couple of minutes. So I've received your uploaded file. Let's just examine its contents to understand what you'd like me to help you with. So it's reading the file at the moment. And now it's going to begin by conducting a systematic literature search to gather relevant academic sources and then analyze and synthesize the findings to create a well-structured report with appropriate headings, subheadings, tables, and visual representations. So I do suggest that if you're going to use Manus to write a report for you, we want a comprehensive prompt. So to use any other large language model to actually give you a, a comprehensive prompt so that you can put it into Manus and it will give you that proper report. I know that the report comes in a few different formats, but this is actually my first time using it. So I'm pretty excited and I know it's going to take a while. So what I might do is it's just analyzing all the sources at the moment. I'm going to hit the pause button so that you don't have to watch uh, Manus working through systematically the prompt that I've given it. And I'll come back and let you know how long uh, Manus has taken to write this report. So I'll come back. I'm going to hit the pause button and I'll see you in a little while. Okay, I'm back and I just wanted to show you the last few steps and what Manus has done so far. So it's been about 15 minutes, I'd say. So lucky that I actually hit the pause button, but it's read my uploaded file. It's analyzed the file content and identified task requirements, so the instructions that I gave. It's planned the comprehensive literature review structure. It's conducted a systematic literature search and collected sources. It's analyzed and synthesized findings by section, draft report with headings, tables, and visuals. It's uh, validate results and ensure user expectations are met, the report and uh, send results to user. So, okay, so um, I've just opened up this window. It says jump to live. So I think it's still, I, I'm not sure what that means, but I've kind of scrolled back to the very beginning and it's got an executive summary Introduction, define inquiry-based learning. Let me move myself over here and make this bigger so you can see. 
explain its relevance in mathematics education, historical context. So this is the summary, literature analysis, okay, and the format of the report with headings. Okay, so let me just um, scroll here then. What's next? Okay, so if I jump back to this window, I'm trying to find, like, I thought it would just be in one place, but if I just sc scroll up here to where Manus was working, uh, we can see conduct uh, systematic literature review, so browsing. So I've kind of jumped down to, this is the conclusion, the synthesis of key findings. I've got here creating file with literature review. So here, look, this has got... Uh, it's adding to it. I want to see it all in one place. So here are, are some studies and research that it pulled on. Okay, here's the draft report. Okay, I had to hit pause because it was still actually giving me and working on the literature review. And now that I've actually scrolled down to the very bottom, it's here I've compiled the literature review and all of these subheadings and then I can open up a PDF, the executive summary here, view all files on this task. So let's have a look at the full literature review. Okay, I'm going to press that I button and to move myself over here. I mean, look at this. This is quite amazing. Uh, theoretical foundations and historical context. So this is the key findings of inquiry-based learning in mathematics, which is grounded in constructivist learning theory emphasizing student-centered discovery and knowledge construction rather than passive reception. Then we've got effectiveness here. Research demonstrates that inquiry-based mathematics can lead to improved student achievement, particularly in contexts where traditional approaches have struggled, enhanced conceptual understanding, etc. This is quite amazing. Implementation, considerations, challenges and limitations, critical uh, perspectives and then we have some recommendations balanced instructional approaches absolutely i think one of the myths of inquiry based learning is that there is no direct instruction and we know that there's this very delicate dance between direct instruction and inquiry based learning in an inquiry based learning classroom so even here it says it integrates direct instruction based on specific learning goals and mathematical content uh, we need to have sustained professional development if you want to embed inquiry-based learning in mathematics, assessment alignment, equity focus, and research priorities. And here's the conclusion as well. Evidence-based recommendations for practitioners. I mean, this is quite amazing. This here's, and here's the actual paper, which I'm really looking forward to reading. This is a 43 research paper that has harvested a lot of research from these particular sources here, these academic sources here and publications. And this is just amazing. I mean, yes, I can do this research myself, but it would have taken days. And of course, um, what I'm really interested in is also the papers that they looked at. But this really will be a time saver for me in terms of doing any research and, and showing teachers research as well about the effectiveness of inquiry-based learning in mathematics. But it's a very nuanced approach, as I want to stress. Let's just jump down here. So we've got the references here. Okay, I'm just looking at the references. Interesting. Okay, and then... Challenge, description, potential solutions. So there's some tables here, implementation challenges and potential solutions for inquiry-based learning and mathematics. Key findings, so at the end there's a table, a, a summary of all of the findings. I mean, this is absolutely phenomenal. Now, I, of course, this is for our own research and for us to critically evaluate. We are not going to hand this in for publication because this is purely AI generated and there's been no human in the loop. So I would actually look at this. I'd take some of the ideas and if I was publishing, I would take some of the references, read them and then start really using my own critical analysis and my own thoughts and ideas about this particular topic. If I save you all of the files in this task, this is what I've got. So full literature review and all the tables. Um, I wonder what kind of file is MD. I don't know what file is MD, but, um, oh, it's editable. So you can see executive summary, you can edit. Let me just move myself over. Switch to edit mode so I can actually edit. 
exit the edit as well. I'm sure I can download um, onto, so okay, MDE stands for Markdown, and we can download as a PDF and save to Google Drive. We can actually share this link publicly as well, and we can actually copy all of the text here so that we can actually analyze it a little bit more. This week I wanted to talk about Manus, this wonderful free AI agent, which will really help research, you know, different academic papers and publications on any topic that you are interested in, and then we'll synthesize and distill all of that research into a paper, a research paper with a literature review. So I think this is really useful for researchers as a starting point to help us with particular ideas. And of course, I want to just stress again, it's about keeping the human in the loop and using these as more of a springboard of ideas for us to be able to write our own papers. So Manus is free at the moment. There is a subscription a version where you have more credits. This is, and this is not the only deep research tool I've been looking at. There are some other deep research tools as well, but I really want to support free tools and equity and access in terms of AI agents. So this first look at Manus with me, I'm just blown away at this first look at Manus with me. Thank you so much for joining me this week. And if you've tried Manus, please share in a comment section below. And I hope to see you next week.